Hello. The German magazine Schach held a Corona composing tourney in 2020. So you might ask, what is Corona? Well, at the time of the recording of this video, in the year 2020, there was a global pandemic, uh, which was caused by one of the coronaviruses called COVID-19. And uh, the virus led to many restrictions of public life including the necessity to keep a physical distance from each other. So the magazine made a tourney where the authors should come up with a solution where all the pieces held physical distance to each other except for capturing each other or for the checkmate or a last move of a composition. So white is to move and win in this position. Ulrich Zenka won the third prize. It was open for all genres, so studies, problems, everything else. But this study won the third prize and another study that I will show in another video won the first prize. So Ulrich Zenker came up with the solution that is 10 moves long and has a highlight in the third move. Let us start. White moves his passed pawn on the A-file. Black wants to capture it. If black plays rook a4, then the c pawn is dangerous and uh, it can't really be stopped because the knight can sacrifice itself. For example, bishop h2, then white can play f4 uh, with a trick on g2, uh, giving a fork, or just knight d6, and I think both should win. So Black has to capture, white obviously also captures. Then black's best move is rook takes h4. And now white faces a difficult decision and he might not know he faces a decision. So let us uh, continue normally and see if we can win with this. White uses the other passed pawn, c7, rook c4 c8 queen, rook takes c8, knight takes c8, h5 and now how does white stop the pawn on the h file? Well, knight d6, h4, now in the case of knight takes f7, h3, there is no way to stop the pawn. But please remember this position. If you would not have a pawn on f3, you could stop the pawn with knight g5, h2, knight f3 check. So another idea here for white is knight f5, h3, knight g3, but then black can just bring the king closer and the white knight has to go or will be captured. For example, knight h1, king g2, or knight e4, check, king g2 also. So let us return to the actual solution. Now that you have seen the future of the position, uh, of the play, we can conclude that the pawn on f3 has to go. And this is where it can go. White plays f4. Black has nothing better than to take, so rook takes f4, otherwise the pawn will be on f4 and it will not make a difference. White just has another extra pawn. For example rook g3 and rook g8, the pawn on f4 does not disturb the knight. Let us continue. C7, rook c4, c8 queen, rook takes c8, knight takes c8, h5, knight d6, h4, knight takes f7, h3, and now without the pawn on f3, knight g5, h2, and surprise, knight f3 check. White is winning with his A-pawn 
it is not easy if you don't know how but essentially you just uh, use the king and the knight to get the black king out of the corner and just promote to a queen then and to win easily all right i hope you enjoyed this study and i'll see you in the next video